You shall make an altar of acacia wood, five cubits long and five cubits wide. The altar shall be square, and its height shall be three cubits. You shall make its horns on its four corners. Its horns shall be of one piece with it, and you shall overlay it with bronze. Also, you shall make its pans to receive its ashes, and its shovels, and its basins, and its forks, and its fire pans. You shall make all its utensils of bronze. You shall make a grate for it, a network of bronze. And on the network you shall make four bronze rings at its four corners. You shall put it under the rim of the altar beneath, that the network may be midway up the altar. And you shall make poles for the altar, poles of acacia wood, and overlay them with bronze. The poles shall be put in the rings, and the poles shall be on the two sides of the altar to bear it. You shall make it hollow with boards. As it was shown you on the mountain, so shall they make it. You shall also make the court of the tabernacle. For the south side, there shall be hangings for the court, made of fine woven linen, one hundred cubits long for one side. And its twenty pillars and their twenty sockets shall be bronze. The hooks of the pillars and their bands shall be silver. Likewise, along the length of the north side, there shall be hangings one hundred cubits long, with its twenty pillars and their twenty sockets of bronze and the hooks of the pillars and their bands of silver. And along the width of the court on the west side shall be hangings of fifty cubits with their ten pillars and their ten sockets. The width of the court on the east side shall be fifty cubits. The hangings on one side of the gate shall be fifteen cubits with their three pillars and their three sockets. And on the other side shall be hangings of fifteen cubits with their three pillars and their three sockets. For the gate of the court there shall be a screen twenty cubits long, woven of blue, purple and scarlet thread, and fine woven linen made by a weaver. It shall have four pillars and four sockets. All the pillars around the court shall have bands of silver. Their hooks shall be of silver and their sockets of bronze. The length of the court shall be 100 cubits, the width 50 throughout, and the height 5 cubits, made of fine woven linen, and its sockets of bronze. All the utensils of the tabernacle for all its service, all its pegs, and all the pegs of the court shall be of bronze. And you shall command the children of Israel that they bring you pure oil of pressed olives for the light to cause the lamp to burn continually. In the tabernacle of meeting, outside the veil which is before the testimony, Aaron and his sons shall tend it from evening until morning before the Lord. It shall be a statute forever to their generations on behalf of the children of Israel.